It's day five and we're halfway through our 10 day spiritual cleansing journey. So I thought we would celebrate by making some shopware bracelets. I made a banana spinach smoothie using homemade almond milk. Find the recipe and the link below on how to do this at home. It's super easy and very nutritious. And of course, I've done my journal entry and I'm happy I'm keeping up with it. It really helps to keep me on track. If you're just joining us and have no idea what's going on, be sure to watch the day one video of this spiritual cleansing journey series. Okay, I'm excited about the chakra bracelet, so let's get to it. You'll need seven different color beads to represent the seven chakras. I'm adding this lotus charm as a symbol of spiritual growth and I'm using spacer beads to break up the colors a bit you can just use bead buddies to keep your beads in place on the elastic string but i'm just using an, a small alligator hair clip find all you need in the box below i measured my wrist which is about six and a quarter inches around and i'm going to cut the string at nine and a quarter inches for some slack clamp down one of the ends of the string and prepare your workspace use needle nose pliers or bead pliers to help you pick up the beads Start with stringing three purple beads together, a representation of the crown chakra, which is a symbol of spiritual awareness. Now I was having trouble with the bead pliers and I switched to my regular needle nose pliers. They gave me a better grip on the beads. I used one medium spacer bead and then added three dark blue beads, the third eye chakra, which is a symbol of inner wisdom. I added another spacer bead and then three light blue beads for communication the third chakra. When I had three sets of colors, I added my lotus charm, another spacer, and then I continued this three to one pattern until all of the colors were in place. Green for love, the heart chakra, yellow for energy, the solar plexus chakra, orange for passion, the sacral chakra, and red relating to security, the root chakra finish up with one last spacer bead and then move on to tying off your bracelet. Have your glue ready on standby, remove the alligator clip, and very carefully make a simple knot. Now it is important that you do not pull too tightly when making your knot or you may accidentally make your bracelet smaller than you intended. Start to make a second knot and upon double knotting your bracelet, pause and grab your glue and put a small dot of glue on the first knot trying to make it smaller than the dot that i executed here and then just continue with completing your double knot wipe off any excess you may have and just hold the knot in place for a few moments while the glue sets you can trim the ends before hiding them by feeding them back into the beads i trim them down and they wound up popping out anyway it's not a big deal they're not really noticeable with my first bracelet done I made another one this time I cut the string at 10 inches to make it a little looser and I used a gold lotus charm with gold spacer beads these beads were really small so I used two spacers instead of just one but I still strung three beads of the different chakra colors together and when it came time to use the glue I opted to to use a toothpick so I can control the amount of glue that goes on to the bracelet. And really that's all there is to it. Be sure to let the glue set for 24 hours before wearing your chakra bracelet. They came out way better than I expected and I'm going to love wearing them throughout this journey. Keep writing in your journals and remember to subscribe now and become a pagan pal. Like up this video and stay tuned for day six of the 10 day spiritual cleansing journey. Bye.